Yeah, good advantage there for the Newcastle Knights, but a good, it's a good start by both sides, especially in attack and defence. Uh, they both come out with their heads switched on, that's for sure, because uh, the Cutters uh, retaliated with a good set of six there, but they've just given away a silly penalty, and they're giving good field position now for the Newcastle Knights early in this game. Newton held 10 metres inside halfway, comes towards the right-hand side, Bazell, and they play it short to the right-hand side of the field and put down... 30 metres out from the line, Van, will be the big fella and bye bye. To his feet, plays it with Dill to the right side to Dobson. Dobson the Minto, Minto finds here Ross, and Ross goes past the 20 metre mark, shrugs off one, tries to cut back on the inside, but he's held there by Charlie Runciman and Duggan. Newcastle go towards the left hand side, Minto gets the pass across, and there's the run by Matty Ora. Matty Ora's put down five metres out from the cutter's line here. They've got options on the short side. The pass to Minto. Minto gets it away to Rossi. Beats one. Gets an overhead pass to the right hand side. And Newcastle are in. They score the first try of the ball game. It's Josh Mantelato, the try scorer. 4 0 kick to come on the Buttsworth National Supply scoreboard. Great effort by Newcastle. Going down the short side to score. Yeah, good try there by Newcastle Knight. That was just a stretched out back line. Catch and pass. Straight to the winger. He scored in the corner there. And this is what Illawarra Carters can't afford to do. That's given cheap yardage away to the Newcastle Knights because that was on the back of. Of that penalty. It gave uh, Newcastle plenty of field position there. They're capitalised on that and they've scored a nice early try out wide. Well, they had space on both sides to be honest. The Cutters, they were in sixes and sevens in defence. Newcastle could have gone to the open side but thought they had options that way and Minto getting the pass across to Ross. And what about that over, uh, overhead pass there as really so we go to the sideline really thanks to Pice Double South Windsor and Harry Ramage. They look good in Newcastle. Yeah, they look pretty slick in. Uh, Nathan Ross, everyone's got a fair rap on this guy, and he's, his first two touches have been outstanding. He took a hard contact in that in his first touch, but he, but he ran the football really hard, and then a couple of tackles later, he's caught in the tackle, but he gets the arms free, and on his way down, he's able to throw a ball onto the chest of his winger which while he's falling, which that's no mean feat. They score on the corner. It's a great start by Newcastle. They look really slick. They look really motivated, but Illawarra do too. It's just yeah, It was just a freakish play that got them there. He'll warrior up for the challenge, don't worry about that. Yeah, no, exactly right. And once again, he's just given Newcastle, you know, a complete field position. And that penalty was on the third tackle. You just can't afford to do that. And once again, they're on the back foot again, Illawarra defending their, their own try line. Patel gets the pass across, finds Rossi, goes towards the left side, and he's held nine metres out from the line as Waddell moves in acting half. He goes to the right, finds here Dobson to Minto. Minto with a lovely ball, finds here Matautia, and he goes to Mantelato, scores himself a double, and this is Newcastle's day so far. It is 8-0 the kick to come on the Buttsworth Industrial Supply scoreboard, and it's reminding me of that game Back a couple of weeks ago against the Penrith Panthers, Cutters, they don't know what they're doing in sixes and sevens, and this is quite poor. Well, I call it deja vu, Nick, wasn't it? Yep. It, was, it was the penalty. Uh, they give a penalty away. They make the uh, great field position in the Newcastle Knights. Straight out to the back line. Winger in. He scores in the corner. Great try again by the Newcastle Knight. Once again, it's they're giving Newcastle the field position. They're making Illawarra, they're making Illawarra pay. That's exactly what they're doing. Well, as we go to the sideline, thanks to... Uh, Pie stop South Windsor and Harry, I, as I said, I don't know what I'm seeing from the cutters at the moment, but it does remind me of a couple of weeks ago. Well, if you uh, open up the Rugby League Dictionary and you look up the term backline play at its best, well, that exact phrase, that is exactly what we saw there. Beautiful, slick hands, players in motion, deep runners onto the football. Mantelato in the corner. He's about 8 foot 10 by the look of him. He's very, very tall and... Not sure why. He must be carrying injury. He's a prolific goal kicker, but got Michael Dobson kicking the goals at the moment. But, yeah, the Knights are on their, they're on their game here, and they'll be able to, they're able to create the two-on-one out the wide there of Illawarra. They'll need to communicate a bit better out wide in defence. There's now the kick has been converted. It is 10-0 here at Leichhardt Oval in the second prelim final between the Newcastle Knights and the Illawarra Cutters. And as I said, uh, it's been a disappointing start by the uh, Scarlet Reds. Yeah, guys, got uh, Garth Brennan with me. Garth, got the guys through to the grand final. It's a great achievement to uh, get the get the reserve grade team back into the um, into the grand final decider. Yeah, it is. You know, it's uh, the boys have worked really hard this year. Uh, they've had a really good uh, season, and to finally get to the grand final, I think it's well deserved for them. Who do you think stood up for you guys today? I thought Ryan Simpkins was good earlier. I thought um, Wanga Blake and uh, Nathan Smith had big second half, but who did you think went well? Yeah, I think all those guys played well. I thought uh, Regan Campbell-Gillard in that second half really came out and uh, got us going forward, which is what we needed. We went away from that in the first half, and um, I thought he really got us, laid the platform for us in that second half to play off the back off. 
Did you have to give the guys a rev, at, rev up at half time? It was a bit, um, yeah, there's a few drop balls in that first half and it really got Wentworth Field and they, they got on the front foot, but then that try just before half time broke their back. Yeah, I, I didn't really give them a rev up, but I just um, sort of, I thought we were frantic, we panicked a little bit. I mean, the last month of football, we, we sort of won our games quite convincingly and it was the first time we've been put under the heat for a while. Um, I didn't think we handled it real well, but um, so I just sort of explained to them that I thought we defended really well and, and we just needed to get back to what we do well. Do preparations change much this week, or is it just same old, same old? Oh, look, a little bit. Of, obviously, try and freshen up a little bit this this week. You know, we've got to try and prepare, that, get them ready. Uh, tough game there today. It was hot, and um, got a few busted guys. So it's important that uh, we get our, our, our regroup and uh, get ourselves as healthy as we can, and try and give every player the best crack we can. Well, Garth, thanks very much for your time, and all the best for next week. Thank you. Tough. Thank you very much, Harry Ramage. Speaking to Garth Brennan, the guy is always very good to help us out with interviews and all that throughout the season, and we do appreciate his help and the help of the Penrith Panthers. And uh, as now the ball is brought forward there by Clint Newton, and uh, they are very helpful to Penrith Panthers, including Emma Duxbury, the media manager there. Uh, she has been terrific throughout the season for us as the ball is brought forward once more there by Braden Williami. They're held about 22 metres out from the line, 20 metres in for the broadcast touch. The kick cross filled there by Michael Dobson. It's up high, needs to be marked oh. beautifully. They score! Newcastle have scored another, and guess who's the try scorer? Josh Mantellata, I think you'll find. I cannot believe this. Great. We'll just make sure the try scorer here. Yeah, Josh Mantellata, a hat trick in 16 minutes. Yeah. Or 15 minutes, rather. 15 minutes, and he's already scored a hat trick. That's great work there by the Newcastle Knights. As that interview was being played there with Garth Brenner, the Illawarra Cutters had the ball. They were flat. They were trying to push passes there. It went into touch. It went to a scrum there. Uh, went back to uh, Newcastle Knights. They just worked it down the field. Beautiful kick there by Michael Dobson. That was dead pinpoint accuracy. Spot on. Nice try there by Mantellano in the corner. He's got a hat trick. Like you said, Nick, a hat trick, and it's only 15 minutes into the game. Record. Uh, world record. It has to be a world record. Record and I, I look the Illawarra Cutters. I'm not saying all this is over and finished and done with, but they really, they really need to get their structure right. They just, to me, they, they, they just, I don't know, they don't seem to be interested at the moment. So already, 12 points for that man in Josh Mantellato, and uh, Dobson scored the other goal, uh, the goal I should say, to make it 14 0 so far. But he's got the kick to come on that eastern touch, 20 meters out and about a meter in. He gets this, and you can say it's all over Barber shouting. Newcastle look like they'll be sitting their um, date towards the football stadium as here's a kick by Dobson, gets it, and it is 16-0 on the Buttsworth Industrial Supplier scoreboard. Down to the sideline once more, thanks to Pie Stop South Windsor. And how good is Josh Mantellato? <laughs> He's pretty amazing in the air. He's, well, like I said, he's about eight foot tall and he just got above the pack, but he was horizontal to the ground as well when he took the ball. It was a it was a real slips diving, Ricky Ponting type effort, fully stretched. It was brilliant. And then the goal from the sideline from Michael Dobson, they look red hot, the Newcastle Knights.